Alleluia. Alleluia. Again, first and foremost, before every, all things and everything, we give thanks to the creator of heaven and earth, to the God of our fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God from whom everything and all things come. We say, Torah Yehoah. And to my family here and my family online, I say, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. How we doing out there? So, so that, yeah. Great, great. We look good. You know, can't see my family online, but I know they looking good. They feeling good. We all here. So that, yeah. And for that, we definitely must say to that, yeah. So that, yeah. Yes. All right. Um, as we're about to do, we're going to um, continue in the book of Psalms. Um, and give praise to the creator of heaven and earth. Um, it's coming. But like with this and all things, we must all always thank the Most High. Um, Y'all know about my notes, so I ain't gonna talk about my notes. Y'all better not talk about them either. No. <laughs> Hi. Um, so what we do? As I was, I was hearing the other day. What I heard the other day when I was listening to the radio, they had a young man on the radio station, and he was talking about, um, you know, he was a, a rapper or a singer. He was a rapper. I'm going to make him a rapper. Mm -hmm. and, uh, <laughs> better, yeah, go better with this dog. <laughs> and, and he was like, oh, I believe St. Louis or, or, um, or New Orleans. See, this story ain't turning out good already, right? I don't know if he's a rapper or a singer, where he was from, but this, I'm going to get to the point. <laughs> no, the thing is, this brother came on there, and, you know, he was talking about, like, different cities and, and how things go. And he's like, in the big cities, he said most children, you know, they grow up around the environment, and they do the things around the environment. And he was talking about, you know, like, in the big cities, you know, they attract more to gangs, there's more gang affiliations, so the youth come out and they feel more attracted to gangs. And then he was talking about where he's from. You know, he was talking about Bible states and how most of their children grow up, you know, in the churches. And then he was talking about where he's from in the South. I think he said Dirty South or something, but he was talking about their children, most of them can play an instrument at like, at like three, three years old or so. He said, Louisiana, one of them states, yeah, he said, because it's a band, every, it's bands all day, every day, all night, all you hear is, is horns and drums, and most of the children, they, they, they start bands at a young age, they got their own band, you know, so, you know, it's just figuring, and whatever you put in, instill in the child, or whatever the environment has, you know, that's what the child is going to most gravi gravitate to, so... With that being said, you know, it's a beautiful thing when we, um, when we come and we do these psalms. Mm -hmm. These psalms, they come in so many different, in so many different ways. And so, you know, they come, I'm going to find them in a minute too. <laughs> yeah, I got them. They come, um, you know, with, with happiness, right. with sadness, mm -hmm. you know, when, when, you, when, you, when you need something. When you got a lot, I'm going to talk about all of them things. But um, that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to pray to the Most High. We're supposed to glorify. And this whole day, from the, from the first teacher who came up, you know, when, you know, when we talk about stuff and it's, um, sorry, I'm going in my nose. And um, we talk about the prayers and different things. You know, and that's that's the uplifting thing, and our children should get that from youth. Mm -hmm. You know, as I was leaving the house, well, when I went to bed last night, first of all, my grandson was like, Pop, Pop, what's going on? What you about to do? I said, I'm going to bed. I'm tired. Okay, let's pray. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, you know, so you got to get out to bed, you know. And, I mean, sun wasn't down, but I, I go to bed you know, early <laughs> on Shabbat. So we, you know, but you got to get up for that one because that's a beautiful thing. Right. So my, son, my grandson Shiloh was like, Pop, Pop, let's pray. I'm going to pray with you. I was like, all right. So we got up and prayed, you know, and that's, that's like one of them, 
them go ahead spirits. You know, that's 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 a, one of them things that keep you motivated. Right. So we're gonna um we're gonna go into these psalms here, and we're gonna read about how um our fathers prayed unto the Most High because we have. Come see, I'll get to that. Bro. We're in the book of Psalms, Torah. Psalms 85, starting from verse 1. For the leader of Psalm of the Sons of Korah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jehovah, thou hast been favorable unto thy land. Thou hast turned the captivity of Yaakov. Thou hast forgiven the iniquity of thy people. Thou hast pardoned all their sin. Thou hast withdrawn all thy wrath. Thou hast turned from the fierceness of thine anger. Okay. Now, this is... um. This is our, our psalmist here, and, you know, when you get, like, you get elders or you get those who have been around, who have seen things, and they come before you and they pray, it's like, like the elders of the day when they've seen slavery. They've seen what our forefathers went through. You know, we read about it, but some of them have seen it, and they see how it is now. So they say, Father, you've been with us. You know, you took us from, from that point with getting beat down and all of that. And, you know, and you've been merciful unto us. They can, they can, they can attest to these things. Yes, sir. Come, sheep. Restore us, O Yah, of our salvation, and cause thine indignation toward us to cease. Will thou be angry with us forever? Will thou draw out thine anger to all generations? Okay, and then, I mean, it's us people because... Those people who've seen things happen and seen better days, but we are the same spoiled people as our forefathers. We are those same people who, if things don't go right right now, we think that it's, a, it's a, the, the end of the world. So now we're coming back. Restore us, O God of our salvation, and cause thine indignation toward us to cease. Now we're seeing how things are going on right now in the world. And you know, I mean, we can do, we can help ourselves, but we choose, we go to Father now. Oh, things is crazy. It says, "Will thou be angry with us forever? Right. Will thou, will thou draw out thine anger to all generations?" Now we, you know, we cry for our children. We think certain, certain things, you know, is gonna be forever. You gonna take it out on our kids? When we know the Most High ain't like that. Mm, right. merciful. He's a merciful God, merciful. but when right now. Our psalm is he feeling at a point where everything is, is going is down. Right. Come she. Will thou not quicken us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee? Show us thy mercy, O Jehovah, and grant us thy salvation. I will hear what Yah Jehovah will speak. For he will speak peace unto his people and to his holy one. Alright. It says, Will thou not quicken us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee? Show us thy mercy, O Yah, and grant us thine salvation. It said, quicken us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee. As we do these days, as we sing here, we clap here, and we have fun praising the most high. Take us back to them days when the rappers and the singers out in the street ain't more glorifying than this creator. Mm. Take us to that time when, when we sing praise, you know, because, I mean, like me, myself, I wasn't born in this way. But, you know, I came in here from young. And like a lot of the men, listen, from, from Benazi King to Bani Yachad to early pastor Shema Yisrael, it was a time when, listen, I was like this on your best song, your, your best prayer song. I was like, mm. I'm, I'm not going to talk about me, you know? It was it was a time when I mean I praised God I prayed to God, but in front of the multitude y'all ain't gonna catch me slipping like that, you know. The old tough the tough time he was up inside of me, mm. but you know as you read this and you get older and you take these things for the value that they have. When you right. read about King David, I've read about him thousands and thousands of times. But when you really get in there and see, that guy much tougher than me. Right. Just by the stories, and the things that our Abba Malek Dawi went through, I know he much tougher than me. And he danced out his clothes yes, yes. in front of multitude for the most high. That's right. And it came a time when it just, you know, reading that, but it just came the time when, you know, you start tapping your foot after a while. You know what I'm saying? You don't just start jumping up and down, but you start tapping your foot like, okay, 
This ain't so bad. Huh? All right. Them drums, you know. Huh? That Shamal band is hitting there. But then, pow, pow, pow. You know, you get, and all that stuff start coming in you. And, and you like, ah, I can get with this. And then, you know, t Boo's making CDs and tapes, and you you doing it through the week. Now I got the lyrics. I got all that stuff, so, because I ain't going to go in there and don't know the words. So now you got to, you can go, because you're bumping it through the week, as we should. And now you go back, you're like, all right, and you, you can get with the song, and you don't feel bad. You feel right at place, as you should be, praising the name to the most high. Mm -hmm. Come, she, who we at? In the middle of nine. But let them not turn back to folly, verse 10. Surely his salvation is nigh them that fear him, that okay. glory may dwell in our Come, land. Come, she. Mm -hmm. Ten. Uh -huh. Mercy. Uh, all right, my bad. Mm -hmm. Nine. He said, I will hear what, what God, Jehovah, will speak. Right. For he will speak peace unto the people and unto the saints. Mm -hmm. But let them not turn back to their folly. Right. We hear these things. We know of the great things that the creator of heaven and earth has done for us, has done for our fathers, have done for so many. You know, people can, can tell you things for facts that happen in their life. You know, and, and knowing this God, you could say that only came from the Creator. Right. This only what you telling me, only the Most High could have did that for you. You know, but we, we being the people we are, it says, let me not turn back to my folly. Let me not turn back as a dog who licketh up his vomit. Right. You know, me myself, as a person, I mean, I I used to drink from the youth. Mm. From I was about to say from the time it was legal, but it was a little before that. <laughs> it was before it was legal to me. <laughs> so, but, you know, mm -hmm. and then just shortly, just a little while ago, I, you know, I gave up the alcohol for whatever reason. Mm. But now you feel good. You're doing things. You know, you got your, your stamina back up and different things. You can, you can feel good. But so it would be f a fool to me. It'd be like folly to go back because, you know, right now things are going good. Your, your job is working good. You know, your car or cars, you know, you, you, you're looking good. Ah, let me celebrate. Mm -mm. Let me just take a sip of alcohol and celebrate. Yeah. Huh? Things are looking bad for a minute. Huh? Brothers who raised me, my brother Mikhail, I heard passed this week. My, my mentor, Chief Captain Michelon, one of the first people as a teenager, I used to go up in that camp when I could break the curfew from Ema, mm. <laughs> hang out with Michelon and shoot pool mm. as a teenager. And he taught you a lot of things. And you know, you seen things, but he wouldn't let you do no wrong. Right. When, it, when people like this pass, you know, it's, it's easy for a weaker person to say, man, I need a drink. I can't handle this without a drink. Mm. But no, ain't nobody coming back. And, you know, I ain't going to knock down two shots of Hennessy and there they stand before me. Right, right, right. You know, so, so, but that's what we do. We make an excuse to go back to our folly. Mm. You know, things are looking good at the camp. Things are happening, you know, but let me just go back out here. Us that wasn't born, let me check. A Friday night joint, something like that. Some, something like that. Right. Come see. Verse 11. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. All right. Sure, number 10. Surely his salvation is nigh to them that fear him, that glory may dwell in our land. So we're not at that point now. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, if anybody who watched the news know we're not at that point where wow. glory is dwelling in our land. No, sir. We're not there. We have not reached that point. And then he says, mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed, kissed each other. <laughs> Cannot, can two not walk together unless they be agreed? Right. Uh, you gotta, you gotta be be like birds of a feather and flock together, you know? I read something the other day. I'm gonna try to find it right now. And I asked some of my best scholars about this and they couldn't tell me where it came from. But I don't know. 
Maybe one of y'all could tell me, or maybe th these people just made it up. So <laughs> it's, called, it's called the book of um, Hazel Den, Hazel Den Betty Ford. It's a, um, it's a group I, I be with, and we read different things. So this one says, it says, where two or three are banded together, I will be there in the midst of them. When God finds two or three people in unity, in union, who only want his will to be done, who want only to serve him, he has a plan that can be, re can be revealed to them. The grace of God can come to people who are together in one place with one accord. A union like this is miracle working. God is able to use such people. Only good can come through such consecration, consecrated people brought together in unified groups for a single purpose and a single mind. And I was trying to find, because I thought I heard like back in the days where it said, can, uh, where, Yeah, one and two together will bring one. One, one, okay, so yeah, I got that. And three, and a three band is not easily broken. All right, because I made it out where two, <laughs> where two or more come before the most high. <laughs> yeah, where two or more come before the most high, he will answer their prayers. But this, this right here hit me because it says when we come together before the most high, when we come together to do something. You know, in unity, in a, in a, in a single mind, mm -hmm. in righteousness. Right. He said the Most High will be there with that. When we come before him right now, and all of our minds is on praising this great king, singing and dancing and hearing the teachings and, and trying to abide on, trying to draw in as much as we can draw in, the Most High hears that prayer. Because we all in unison. There's one person maybe standing up here, but we all into that. And the Father hears those things. And so that's what we got to try to work on, being the oneness. You know, we're going to have difference of opinions. We're going to have difference within our councils and our groups. But if our, if our common denominator is the creator of heaven and earth, right. then there's nothing we can't solve through this book right here. That's right. There's nothing we can't solve. Verse 12. Truth springing out of the earth, and righteousness have looked down from heaven. Okay. Truth springing from out of the earth, and righteousness, and righteousness have looked down from heaven. Now, this is the point we want to get to with truth and righteousness. When, when you're afraid, when you, when you fear lying, when you, when you have that fear of lying, you know, to the point where I just uh, don't ask me how that look. <laughs> don't, you know, I, I seen a show one time where this guy would put a spell on himself. He just couldn't tell a lie. So please don't ask me how that look. I'm going to have to tell you the truth. I'm into this truth thing right now, people. You know what I mean? I'm into being right right now and righteous. No white lies up in me. <laughs> no little white lies. Mm -hmm. You know, so when you into that and you like, listen. I got to tell you, you know, you, you slipping, bro. You, you know, you try your very best to find the very best way to get this across, you know, because you want to get this across in a way that it will be received and this person will hear it, but you just feel look, in all righteousness and all truth. I got to let this sister know what's going on. Right, right. I got to let this brother know what's going on, you know. And that's where we're working to, you know, the honesty and the truth in a, in a comely way. And with the most high, we can get there. Come, she. Yea, Jehovah will give that which is good, and our land shall yield her produce. Our land shall yield her produce. Jehovah shall give that which is good. So obviously, we know that we're not in our land now. We know that we don't know what we eat in these days. So, so definitely we not getting the, the produce that we yield from the most high. So this is another thing we striving for. You know, why those are fighting in our land and all of that. We striving to get to the point 
where Most High will even make the foods that we eat, the things that we drink, acceptable unto him. You know, you can pray over food and you be like, I know this mess. But this is, you know, <laughs> this is, this is what's, what's before me. I know the vegetation, you know, when they talk, talk about bouncing rice and this, you know, come on. <laughs> you know, I mean, I ain't no conspiracy theorist, but after a while, listen, he said, oh, the broccoli is this, that. We, we, we praying for a time where us, or at least our children, can get back to where the Most High blesses our produce, blesses the food that we eat. So this is a prayer for us, come she. Righteousness shall go before him and shall make his footsteps away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, hold on. I had something for 14. All right, so it says, Righteousness shall go before him and shall make his footsteps away. Mm -hmm. This is what we're striving again for, for the righteousness to go before us, for the thing that, that we're hearing sometimes right now. When you go into a place or you, you're somewhere and they say, and somebody just pick you out of a whole bunch of people, say, brother, I'd like to ask you the question. You know, me and my, my, my friend here, we was just, we was talking about this biblical point, you know, and I need to ask you, they pick you out of everybody. Well, you got that certain glow about you where, you know, people say, oh, nah, you know, she, she's, not, she's not about, I can look at her and tell she's not about that life, you know? But Prince, you sit down at the domino table and all that, they say, oh, man, watch your mouth, man. Prince don't talk like that. Talk about a little cursing, man, and this and that. And, you know, why are you looking at that girl like that? You know, that might be somebody's wife. <laughs> and you feel good, you know? I was just want to play some dominoes, but... You feel good that pe at least people think of you like that because you know that you carry yourself all right. You carry yourself good. Come see. Psalms 86. A psalm of Dawi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Incline thy ear, O Yehovah, and answer me. For I am poor and needy. Keep my soul, for I am godly. O thou, my God, save thy servant that trusteth in thee. Be gracious unto me, O Yah, for unto thee do I cry all the day. Listen, all the day. All the day, every day. And that's got to be our practice. As the sister Dira said earlier, we got to do this every day. Right. Can't make this a Shabbat thing. Right. We got to get past that. You know, some of the children or some of them might still be on, oh, you know, you put your music on, and this is Shabbat? Mm. They look out there. It's Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> it's Shabbat music. It's not Shabbat music. It's every day. It's everyday music. It's, day, it's, shop, it's songs of praise, as we say. And you're supposed to be praising every day. You know, you're supposed to see certain things on Shabbat, but every day you gave praise. Well, however your day went. When you wake up in the morning, you thank the Most High for waking you up. You thank Him for getting you through the day yesterday, however it may have went. Mm -hmm. You made it. That's right. And you ask Him to be with you. And give you the strength to go through the day that you're about to go through. Right. At, in the afternoon, you ask these, told I, yeah, I'm out here, almost getting ready to get off work. Told I, yeah, for life, you know, and I still got a job. You know, there's only 30 minutes left. They ain't fired me yet. <laughs> told I, yeah. <laughs> or, you know, whatever. And for, and for sure, when you get back into your house, into your doors, you know, and you... You eat and whatever, or before you do that, you face the east, or you know, and you say, Toda Yah, for getting me through this day, for bringing me home safely, taking me out, and bringing me back home, because everybody don't make it. And you say, Toda Yah. You know, and then if you look in the refrigerator, in the, in the cabinets, you got food to eat, Toda Yah. All these are or Toda Yah moments, and we got a whole bunch of them. So sometimes, like we say, Toda for all things and everything you give and the things that you don't give, right. the things you take away. You know, we can't name everything, but we can, you know. Come she. Verse 4. Rejoice the soul of thy servant, for unto thee, O Yehovah, do I lift up my soul. For thou, Yehovah, art good and ready to pardon, and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. All right. It says... Rejoice the soul of thy servant, for unto thee, O Yah, do I lift up my soul. For thou, Yah, art good and ready to pardon, and plenteous in mercy 
to all them that call upon thee. And we had a conversation, man, a couple of fellas, you know. Um, this was really a while back, but I was talking to one of the brothers on the phone the other day. And uh, we was talking about, you know, because one was born in law, and then, you know, the rest of us is converted. So, you know, it's like, hey, you know, like, you know, you don't think you better than us because you're born in this way, you know, and this one's like, nah, you know, so we had the conversation, but to, to put it short, at the end of the day, as it says, it says, it says, it says, for thou art a good and ready to pardon and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. The Most High is good to all of us who call upon his name. If you was born in this way, you have a fault. Your mind keeps trying to think of what's going on out there. Mm. What am I missing? Mm. Oh, what's happening out there that I'm missing? You know, and we talk, you know, you be thinking that sometimes about, you know, yo, how, how was them little, them little Christmas and Thanksgiving dinners y'all used to do back when you was out there? You know, you got questions. You inquisitive about them things because you never... You never, you never been through them, so you know being born this way told our y'all. But you, you know, you still things go through your mind, and then one, you know that you you was, you was born out in, this, in the in the world, but you came to find out the Most High called you. You know, once you got to find out about this thing, and you 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 rejoicing in there. You know what you left behind. You know what's back then, like I just talked about, <laughs> a dog lapping up his vomit or going back to something that you know was a negativity to you. You know, you, you, you know about that. So it ain't hard to say, nah, I think I'm doing better. You ain't never seen it, but I experienced that stuff and got out, told out, yeah. You know, and then, you know, you got, you got blessings like, like myself. Like the Most High blessed me in a way where I came in from a young age, and my family was, you know, was into this. My sister, my mom's, forget about it. <laughs> she, she would have nothing to do with Israel, but she came around. Told her, yeah, named her Sarah, the, and right. and my sister is in this way. So when you come in. And y'all, the whole family ain't born in this way, but now the majority is, is praising this, this God. Huh? Emma passed away knowing about this great king. And then from the youth, the Most High was so great that in a time when we out in the streets and roaming and hustling and bustling gangs and all that, he didn't just call me. He called me, the brother I grew up from seven years old with, Another brother who's now my brother-in-law, Prince Shim, and Chief Natiel, Chief Zah, Prince Lumael, all of us was little knuckleheads running around in the streets. So how, how good could that be when, when everybody you play with out there is in here now? Everybody's praising this God with you now. Eh? Ain't none of your old friends out there, real friends, talking about some, oh, you still do that? Huh? And still trying to test you. Yo, yo, Prince, my, my, my wife made that. And they know Hebrew words, too. You know, they hung around. Like, my Isha made this, man. Taste that. She ain't use no pork. <laughs> Knock it off, man. You know I eat from your house, man. <laughs> Knock it off. You know, I ain't have to go through my brothers, you know, right. sisters that I knew from youth grew up right with me. How great is this God? Amazing. Oh, yeah. Verse 6. Um, Give ear, O Yehoah, unto my prayer, and attend unto the voice of my supplication. In mm -hmm. the day of my trouble I call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me. There is none like unto thee among the gods, O Yehoah, and there are no works like thine. It says, Give ear, O Yah, unto my prayers, and attend unto the voice of my supplication. In the day of in the day of my trouble, I will call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me. There is none like unto thee among the gods, O Yah, and there is there are no works like thee, like thine. I mean, and this is something that most of us can testify to, right. from the youngest to the oldest. This is something we can all testify to, and it's like it says we like I'm telling y'all, and I'm asking y'all as we should pray 
every day, all day. But there's some of us that just pray when times get hard. There's some of us that just, just pray, you know, in the, in the rough situations. You know, in my time of trouble, yeah, I call unto thee. No, in my time of gladness, I come call unto thee. In my time of uncertainty, I call unto thee. In any time I have a problem, in sickness, I call to thee, then I seek the physician. But first I go to God. Oh, I got this ailing pain most high. What could it be? I can't see inside of me. So I pray for that. You pray for these things. You pray for when you, you just can't figure this out. You, and the most high answers, if you're sincere, and you see it in you, and the older you, well, some of y'all are the young age. I ain't going to put no age on it. Some of y'all get closer to the most high at a young age than, than the older people, and you'll see how, how much quicker your prayers is answered. Mm -hmm. right. You'll see how quick your prayers are answered. I had a prayer the other day. I was driving my car. And we were just talking about something to that effect earlier. But I was driving in my car, and I went to um, BJ's. And I'm looking, and BJ's is a, a bulk store, you know. You buy, but I'm like, man, this went up, that went up, this went up. So I said, I'm just going to get this, and I'm going, you know, I'm going to try to wait until later on to get this other thing. And I got in the car. So I'm like, man, all right, I got to wait till later on because I wanted to get a big amount of something. And as soon as I got in the, call, in, the, in the car, I got a call from this guy. And he was like, uh, nah, I got me. I, I, know, I know we all, nah, just joking. <laughs> but uh, he was like, yo, Prince. I said, like, yeah. He said, man, I got these food stamps, man. You want to buy these food stamps? <laughs> so, you know, he had like, like $200 worth. He wanted $100 for him. So I was like, you know, I'll call you when I pop, you know. I'm scared to say the rest of this, man. I don't, I don't want to get off, off this here. And they say, hey, we're going to lock you up for buying food stamps. No, but, uh, but this is how things go, you know. You pray, you pray for certain things. And automatically, a way came. And God answers You know what I'm saying? A way came for me to get more food for my dollar. The, you know, that bulk that I was trying to get without coming all the way out the pocket. You know, it's, you know, it's, it's one of them examples that, but, <laughs> but that's what happened. You know, and it came quick. That's <laughs> you know, as I pray for it. You know, where we at, but Verse 9. <laughs> All nations whom thou hast made shall come and prostrate themselves before thee, O Jehovah, and they shall glorify thy name. For thou art great and doest wondrous things, thou art God alone. All right, it says, All nations, <laughs> see here, all nations whom thou hast made shall come and prostrate themselves before thee, O Yah, and they shall glorify thy name. All right, let's read the next one. Teach me, O Jehovah, thy way, mm. that I may walk in thy truth. Make one my heart to fear thy name. All right, hold on. Okay. So now, it's telling us, like, all right, like the sister, if we can go to Isaiah 31.3. The sister Dira read this earlier, but I just want to go right back to it real quick. Uh, verse, I believe, is verse 3. Now the Egyptians are men and not God, and their horses flesh and not spirits. So when Jehovah shall stretch out his hand, both he that helpeth shall stumble, and he that is helped shall fall, and they all shall perish together. Okay. Uh, let's start from one. See what one okay. says. Yeah, let's try that. <laughs> Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Okay. Good. And rely yeah. on horses. And trust in chariots because they are many. And in horsemen, because they are exceeding mighty. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek Jehovah. Yet he also is wise and bringeth evil, and doth not call back his words, but will arise against the house of the evildoers, and against the help of them that work iniquity. All right. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Now, again, as she said, you know, sometimes we get in, in fixes or we get in little predicaments and we're quick to want to run to to the, to the other people or run to, you know, to somebody out there that we think, think can help before going unto the creator, before taking our, our prayers, taking our cry outs to the most high. We go to the courthouse or to the precinct or to... to to the, the the guy who make them little portion potions, you know, and think that he can just heal you automatically before going to the Most High. But then if we go to Isaiah forty one twenty three, declare the things that are to come hereafter, that we may know that ye are gods. Yea, do good or do evil, that ye may be, be dismayed and behold it together. Hmm. 4123. 45, I'm sorry. I'm not used to calling them. I told y'all last time I was up here. I don't be calling up chapters. 4523. Let's try that. By myself <laughs> have I sworn the world, the word is gone forth from my mouth in righteousness and shall not come back. Down unto me, every knee shall bow, and, and every, every tongue, tongue shall, shall swear. swear. Okay, now the Most High is making it known through his prophets that to me, to the creator of heaven and earth, all knees shall bow, and all tongues are going to say, Lord, help me. That's and right. speaking of the great and merciful creator, mm -hmm. as we talked before about the atheists and all of them, they're going to go, and, and they're going to cry unto this great God. That's right. They're going to cry to this God. Okay, start from 11. Teach me, O Jehovah, thy way, that I may walk in thy truth. Make one my heart to fear thy name. I will thank thee, O Jehovah, my God, with my whole heart, and I will glorify thy name forevermore. For great is thy mercy toward me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest nether world. Okay, again. Um, I might have not told y'all, but I wasn't supposed to be doing this portion. Mm -hmm. You know, I took this on from another brother. But as always, we're supposed to be always ready right. to, you know, come before God's people when called upon, right. if we call ourselves teachers. So, you know, uh, as I told Chief Ooze, I was going, you know, this, this part right here and what I started off with is we should be clapping and singing and praising this great king. Right. So, you know, this is the part, this is the song that, our brother Yeshikaya used to sing. We, yeah. He said, teach me thy ways, O oh Lord, okay. and I will walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear thy name. O oh Lord, I will thank thee with all my soul, and I will glorify, glorify thy name. I'm not going to go all the way up there. But, um. <laughs> But then it's y'all part then. So everybody's supposed to go in when he say, For thou art great and do wondrous things. Thou art great and do wondrous things. I was going to say one more time, but y'all ain't do it the first time. So <laughs> we're not going one more time. But, but this is what we're supposed to do. These psalms are psalms of singing. That's right. Singing and praising. That's and right. telling, you know, teach me. And in the words of my brother, Chief Michael Badia, this, these psalms, prayers, we have to be specific. That's right. When this psalm says, teach me, O, o, o Lord, thy ways that I may walk in thy truth. We got to be specific when we ask the Most High for something. Right. Teach me, Most High. Mm -hmm. My heart is there, but I'm slow. Mm. <laughs> Help me to grasp this stuff that, you know, people got, got kind of like a problem, you know, comprehending stuff. They be reading this and they, they, you know, like, you know, not like, you know, a lot of educated people that get this and break it down. Some people and they, they heart is holy toward going to the most high. So you have to pray. Teach me, most high. Show me how to praise you. Show me what you would have for me to do. Because everything we may be doing, everything we went to school for, everything we learned, ain't, it may not be what the most high has in line for you. We talked about, I believe it was Jeremiah. He said, look, he went through the priestlyhood and all of that. 
Most high said, you a prophet. You're going to be a prophet. You're going to go tell people stuff they don't want to hear. How you like that? Mm. Huh? You ain't going to pray over people and do priestly things and all of that. You're going to tell people stuff that's going to piss them off. Mm -hmm. So you got to pray to the Most High. Get to understand, what would it be that you would have me to do, Most High? And if you tell me or show me, you know, please, yeah, I will do that. And be with me. Guide me. Protect me. Well, we just can't ask for money and this and that and don't know what to do when you hit that lottery. Mm. You're more confused <laughs> than when you was broke. Huh? Do I really want to pay that bill now? Huh? Do I got to pay that car note? I'm a millionaire paying no car note. Mm. You know? <laughs> but, you know, this is something that we must really practice to pray for the things that be specific. We can sing songs together and say, uh, but in your, you know, private devotions, try to think of, you know, be a little selfish sometimes. You know, pray for my family, I pray for this, I pray, you know, those in travel. But most high, help me to stay strong, mm -hmm. to keep good sanity. That's help right. me, you know, if I've been put in a position, help me to be the best I can be in that position. That's right. Help me to help them who need my help. So that's what we're going to try to do. Yeah. Verse 13. For great is thy mercy toward me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest netherworld. O Yah, the proud are risen up against me, and the company of violent men have sought after my soul, and have not set thee before them. Okay. Now, another song. They not like us. <laughs> They not like us. They not like us. Because you see what this song, he says, Oh God, the proud are risen up against me, and the company of violent men have sought after my soul and have not set thee before them. They not like us. Us God-fearing people, we know that before we go to war with somebody, before we set it off, we send our godly men in there. We send our, our priests in there. We pray on it first. We send our priests and pronounce peace. Mm. Yo, this is our plan. This is our intention coming up against y'all. How y'all want to treat this? Right. Y'all want to surrender? You know, and and listen, I will tell y'all how we want this, or do y'all want us to just, that's, that's what godly people do. Right. You give people a chance. They don't give us no chance. We don't get no warning. We get no, no, no alerts on there. Hey, you know, this is about to happen. That's about to happen. You wake up to this news that, you, you, that whole job is closed. This, this is that. You wake up to that. So they not like us. They, they don't have this godly set in this God. And we can't, that means, again, we can't, we can't depend on these people. We can't depend on them. Come see. But thou, O Yahuwah, art a God full of compassion and gracious, Amen. slow to anger and plenteous in mercy and truth. Amen. O turn unto me and be gracious unto me. Give thy strength unto thy servant and save the son of thy handmaid. Work in my behalf a sign for good, that they that hate me may see it and be put to shame, because thou, Yahuwah, has helped me and comforted me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said, but thou, O Yah, art a God full of compassion and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy and truth. Hallelujah. You know, none of us can take on all of them attributes as this great king and plus all the many others he had. He said, O turn unto me and be gracious unto me. That's my selfish part. Give thy strength unto thy servant and save the son of thy handmaid. We ain't special. But save me. Save me. I ain't come from, you know, no kingly ship or nothing like that. But we can still ask the most high for his protection to save us. Save the, the, the son of your handmaid. He says, he said, give thy strength unto thy servant and save the son of thy handmaid. Work in my behalf a sign for good that they that hate me may see it. And be put to shame because thou, Yah, has helped me and comforted me. It says, work 
in my behalf a sign of good. You want to be one of the instruments that the Most High use right. to, to show forth. He don't need us at all. We ain't none of us going to get it twisted. Like, he can't do this without me. God needs me in order to make this happen. He needs me on earth. And he don't need us. But you pray that you can be one of the, 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 the signs that the Most High uses. See, oh, this guy, yeah, that guy's a godly guy. That sister has been tried. She, she's, a, she's a godly person. Make me a sign, Musa. Let them try me and let me come out triumphant. This is what you're praying for the most high because they're out there. They got tricks. It says, that they that hate me may see and be put to shame because thou, Jehovah, has helped me and comforted me. You know how many times from when we was young till now, as we sit outside, we play dominoes or play bass, whatever you doing out there in the places we live in, and those people ride by and say, how the heck is these people so happy and laughing? And, 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 yeah, we done did everything we can do to put them down. And they over there just happy and laughing and, the girls are jumping rope and the guys, is, you know, out there playing ball and all of this. They probably ain't even eating this morning. They trying to figure, how did they do this? I would have been jumped off a roof if this was me. Living in them projects. Got to go to the 24th floor and the elevator broke again. And the one working got pissed all in it. How do they do that? But the most highs, you said, put them to shame. It said that the ones that hate me should see me and be put to shame. And this was what we pray for with our many prayers that we have to put before the Most High. So let's keep praying, singing, and rejoicing and calling upon the name of the Most High. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.